Hey guys, in this video I'm going to talk to you about a really, really common skill that comes up in the exams. Being able to take a block of text or a shared load of words and turning it into an equation and then balancing that equation. This comes up loads, so you need to know how to do this really, really well. If there aren't enough examples for you here, you can pop over to my classroom channel or go and get my book off my website and there are loads more in there for you. Here, hydrogen and oxygen gas are reacted together to make water. So you should know that hydrogen gas is H2, oxygen gas is O2, and water is H2O. For the majority of gases, they go around as diatomic molecules. That means in pairs. Now we have to balance this equation. And we'll draw a line down the middle there. Circle all of my um, compounds. Hydrogen, oxygen, two hydrogens, two oxygens. Hydrogen, oxygen, two hydrogens, one oxygen. So I need some more oxygens over this side. I can only balance that by adding more of the same bubble. Can't change anything inside the bubble. That only gives me four hydrogens and two oxygens on this side. Um, now I need to increase the number of hydrogens over this side. So I need to pop another H2 on there. So that in total is going to give me 2H2 plus O2 goes to 2H2O. Chlorine gas is reacted with hydrogen gas and hydrochloric acid is made. So just like I mentioned a minute ago, most gases are diatomic. They go around in twos. That is true for chlorine gas and hydrogen gas. Making hydrochloric acid, which is HCl, we need to balance that. Nice easy one to balance, you just put a two in front of there. Magnesium reacts with oxygen and air to make magnesium oxide. Write a word equation for this. Metals, if it's just the metal on its own, are just like this. Um, just, just the metal on its own. Um, oxygen is a diatomic gas, makes magnesium oxide. Now, the tricky thing here is that magnesium is going to make two plus ions. Oxygen is going to make two minus ions. So magnesium oxide is MgO. If you are unsure about how to make um, the formula of ionic compounds, um, go and check out my separate video on this. This is something you need to know really, really well. Two oxygens on the left hand side, so I need to put a two in front of there and a two in front of there to balance it. In the harbour process, ammonia is made by reacting hydrogen and nitrogen gas from the air together. Again, Gases are diatomic molecules. Ammonia, you should know this, is NH3. Um, this one is slightly more complicated to balance. We need to put a 2 in front of there to make up two nitrogens. We now have six hydrogens on the um, right hand side, so we need to put three in front of there to make six on the left as well. Zinc reacts with oxygen to make zinc oxide. Write the word equation for this. So zinc is a metal, goes around just on its own. Oxygen is a diatomic gas. And then zinc oxide is a um, ionic compound. So you need to know how to work out the formula of those. Um, we need to put two in front of there to make sure there's two oxygens on the right hand side. And then a two in front of there to make sure there's two uh, zincs on the left. This is an absolutely vital skill for your GCSE. So if you're not 100% confident with this, what I suggest you do is go and look at the extra examples over on my classroom channel or pop over to my website and get the book.